Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lillian and today is day 11 of Vlogmas. We have one more day to go. I'm so excited and I'm so proud of myself that I made it through this Vlogmas with the thanks of your support, of course. Uh, so today I'm going to be reacting to the icks that you guys have sent me on Instagram. I put a little question box with what gives you the ick and I got so many responses. So I'm just going to go through all of them while I'm getting ready and doing my makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Before we head in, make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and give this video a big, big thumbs up. And don't forget to leave a comment down below with what gives you the ick. I hope you enjoyed this video and let's head straight into it. So I just did my brows because I cannot do my brows and talk at the same time. So the first ick is when he doesn't have faith. Um, I agree. I agree, definitely. So from what I've experienced and what I noticed as well is that I feel like girls are more expressive in their faith than guys. So yeah. You know, us girls, we love to share our Bible quotes and all of that stuff, whereas guys are very low-key about their faith. So, yeah, a lot of times, it's not that they don't have faith, they just don't show it as much. That's what I've learned, at least. Someone said, when he doesn't smell or dress nice, uh, definitely. Smell is so important, especially with guys. Like, I love um, male perfumes. It just smells so nice. In my high school times, I would buy male deodorant just because it would smell so nice. But I think it's really important as a guy or as a girl to smell nice because smelling nice, it just, how do you say it? It makes you look better. Like it makes you much more attractive when you smell nice. I also think it's very important to dress nice, although I feel like guys sometimes they just take it to the next level like when they're dripped out in designer like t designer everything you know I feel like girls they have a way to make it look really subtle like like we will wear a pretty little thing outfit with just a designer bag or you know designer shoes something like that but guys always have to go to the extra mile and you know every item that they wear have to be designer no that's not nice why are you trying to be someone you're not like it's like you're trying to look like Future, Drake, Offset, whatever, but your bank account is in negative. You're overdrafting, so fix your priorities. Period. 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 Someone said inconsistency, and I couldn't agree with that more because I feel like it's so important to be consistent in your behavior, but also your words and your actions they need to be consistent like you cannot be saying one thing and doing the opposite you know so the next ick is the dirty nails and oh my god i could not agree more one thing that just disgusts me is dirty nails dirty nails long nails as well i don't like it when guys have long nails i feel like you just need to take care of yourself you know that's part of your hygiene you can be smelling nice looking nice but if your nails are looking dirty and stuff, that's mm -mm, that's just disgusting. So the next ick is when they make slick sexist comments, boy bye. Girl, definitely boy bye. Because ugh, like I feel like girls are much more open-minded than guys. And it's really annoying because it's just, ugh, I don't know. You think that our generation is different, but I still know guys that actually think that, you know, women should be at home, not working, just cooking and cleaning and taking care of the kids. And if that that works for your household and that's what a woman actually wants, then go ahead. But that is not how it should be. Like, that should not be the norm. And there's really guys that still think like that. Guys from our generation, you know, born and raised in this world that we live in right now. So I don't know. So sexist comments, they can go. So someone said when his words and actions don't match. Yeah, like I said before, that is definitely an ick. I feel like guys really underestimate this because for us girls, it's so important that your words ma match your actions and that you're not doing one thing but saying something else or you know, saying one thing and doing the complete opposite. 
And to me, to be honest, that's kind of disrespectful even because you, that, that just means to me that either you're not taking me serious or you're not taking yourself serious, either one of those. So someone said when he always has a group of girls around him with a rolling eye emoji, you probably mean like when a lot of girls like him and chase him, definitely. I don't think that's attractive. Guys really love to say like, oh, I've had this many girls and this and this and this. And they really think it's attractive, but to us girls, like us women, we don't think that's attractive at all. Same way that guys think that it's not attractive when a girl has like loads of guys. Same way as that, I don't think it's attractive when a guy has had a million of girls, you know. <laughs> My friend today, she used the word community D and I was like, you know what? That's kind of true. It's just not attractive, you know. When you're with someone, you want that someone to be for yourself and not for the whole community. So yeah, I definitely get you, girl. <laughs> someone said mistaking me being nice for liking him ruins the vibe. And oh my god, I cannot agree more. I feel like guys always think that when a girl's being nice to you is flirting. Whereas with girls, like we think if a guy's being nice with us, to us, you know, it's just being nice. Because we can actually, I feel like a lot of times when a guy and a girl are friends, it's always the guy that gets the feelings, whereas the girl is just like, oh, we're just friends. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. I feel like guys always do this. Like they mistake you being nice for flirting or something with them. Guys, unless she says, I like you, we're not flirting. Again, someone said when their words don't match their actions and this just shows how important it is for girls that a guy actually does what he says he will do. Someone said when he says I'm, I'm not a feminist, I'm an equalist. <laughs> uh, to be honest, I've never experienced that. Like I've never had a guy say anything about feminism even. Uh, but yeah, that's very problematic what he just said. <laughs> And someone said when he says you're not like other girls like I don't know I feel like that phrase is so overused if you really think that then show us you know instead of saying it to us that's also one thing about girls we like to see it instead of just hearing the nice words like I'm not gonna lie reassurance is really nice I don't think you should um, not say things like this like give compliments and stuff basically but i also think it's really important that you put action behind your words as well and that you don't just say oh you're not like other girls and then you treat her like other girls <laughs> someone said one not a godly person two lazy and three not family oriented um I don't know what you mean by not a godly person, but I feel like you just mean someone um, that believes in God or that's a Christian. Um, yeah, I definitely agree. For me, I want someone that's a Christian as well, which my boyfriend is a Christian as well, so that I'm happy with. Um, and definitely lazy. Us girls, we don't like lazy guys. We want someone with ambition, and it's not even about success being successful you know if you're at the start of your journey if you're broke if you're not nowhere near where you want to be that's fine as long as you have ambition as long as you have a plan as long as you're motivated that's something that really attracts us girls because it feels like it makes us feel like you know what you want and that's a really nice um how do you say it it's a really nice trait to have and definitely not family oriented for me that's important as well because I myself am, am very family oriented as well so I feel like um, it's important that you find someone that is on the same level as you when it comes to family someone said acting different like just acting different and I guess by that you mean like when all of a sudden the person starts acting different I feel like anything anything that happens you should always communicate with the other person um, no matter how much it will hurt them or make them mad or something like that I feel like honesty is, is much more important because at the end 
the other person will much more appreciate your honesty than hiding it and you know distancing yourself from them so acting different does not solve anything just be open and honest and if you want to move on move on but don't act different and distance yourself from that person because that's just not fair and very childish i said what i said someone said a manipulator and that is definitely an ick that is someone that you just need to avoid in your life because oh, you just don't want to put yourself through that to be honest do you think that they know that they're manipulating i mean they probably do know but how can you beat someone like that like how can you just manipulate someone uh, the next ick is someone who just talks about themselves too much and I feel like this applies to relationships, friendships, you know, everything to be honest. I had a friend that was like that in high school and you know, she was always just talking about herself no matter what you talk about. Like you can be like, oh, you know, I have a stomach ache and sh somehow she can turn the conversation to herself. So yeah, I had to cut that person off and it was very sad and I felt bad but it was just like, I don't want to deal with someone like that. So someone said SoundCloud rappers and that's just, that's just funny to me. I don't know why. It's just like, you know those guys that swear that they have talent and that they can rap and da 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 but girl, I mean boy. You might want to reconsider another career because rapping is not you. <laughs> I saw a TikTok the other day, oh my god, I hope I can find it, where it was like we, me when my boyfriend starts to rap and she was just like supporting him and singing along, but Loki, it was like a really bad song. <laughs> She just want my love, so she gon' love me. I got to my YG pesos on my me. So the next ache is when he wants to be the center of attention all the time. Ew. Definitely an ache. I think it's just unattractive. Like, not everything is about you, you know? Relax. <laughs> okay, you guys. Let me do my eyes real quick. I'm just gonna do a wing liner and put some lashes on. But you guys know how it goes me and eyeliner like I cannot talk my face cannot be moving when I apply eyeliner so give me two seconds and I'll be right back now that the eyes are done we can finally move on uh, so the next one is when they start talking about marriage and kids just after a week of dating <laughs> this is so funny because I do like it when uh, for example when my boyfriend talks about the future and stuff I like it because you know, they have a future with you, like they can imagine a future with you. But it is a bit creepy when it's like in the starting phases. Like we've been knowing each other for a week and you're already saying this stuff. Like it's a bit creepy, I know, I get what she's saying. <laughs> so someone said if they're unhygienic, they expect this from a girl but so do we from a guy, period. <laughs> Definitely hygiene is so important, personal hygiene. Don't be smelling weird have clean nails clean hands you know clean fresh breath yeah i just feel like personal hygiene is so 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 important and like she said guys expect it from girls so i feel like we should be expecting the same the next ick is lacking a sense of humor and that is so important actually i feel like humor is a huge thing for girls um to find in a guy because you know, he needs to be able to make you laugh and a lot of times humor is what enables that connection as well, that click. So I feel like it's very important that your partner makes you laugh or is able to make you laugh. Someone said confidence and trust issues. Now I don't agree on confidence. I feel like it's important for a guy to be confident. I don't like it when guys are insecure about how they look and all that stuff. Like. I just want someone that's confident. However, there is a difference between confidence and arrogance, of course. It's a big, big turn off when guys are arrogant and they feel like they, they act like they can get everyone they want. Like, that's, it's not cute. It's very childish. Uh, have some respect for yourself. And, you know, it's just, it's not cute. 
we want someone that we know is only for us and not someone, you know, they have to be humble and not arrogant. Trust issues is definitely important. When you're with a guy that has trust issues, it's not gonna be nice because you're just constantly gonna feel like you have to prove yourself, you know? Um, so yeah, definitely agree that trust issues is a bit of a turn off. But if the person is aware that they have trust issues and they're trying to work on it, I don't feel like it's a deal breaker to me. So so someone said when he's very affectionate, I need a hood type. <laughs> that is just, uh, you know what? That's like a typical reflection of us girls. Like there's some girls that want a really nice, sweet, affectionate guy. Uh, someone that does everything for them, you know, anything you say, I'll do it for you. And then there's other girls that are like, he can't be too affectionate. I, he, he needs to be, you know, the man of the house, stuff like that. Uh, I think I'm a bit in between, like, I don't like it when a guy is like too, too, like... I feel like sometimes when a guy is too, too sweet, it will make you feel like, does he not have a will of his own, you know? So you really need to find the balance between that. So again, someone said personal hygiene. This just shows how important it is for us girls that a guy has personal hygiene. And she also said no manners or respect. And that's something I really agree with because it's just such a big turn off when a guy does not have manners or respect. Not even just for you, but also for others. Like for example, like you know those type of guys that are rude to the cashier, to the waiter, to anyone that serves them at a store or a restaurant or, or a bar or whatever. And it's just like, you did this for what? But you did this for what? Why not? <laughs> Why? Why not? Why though? Again, someone said overly friendly guys have some class. This is what I mean. Like, I feel like a lot of girls, they don't want someone that is like too, too friendly. I feel like it also has to do with the fact that if a guy is too friendly, it will make a girl feel like he's too accessible to like other girls and stuff maybe. Um, so yeah, I think that's where maybe it comes from, but like, yeah, you want a guy that, you know, has some class, like she said, and has his own will, like, of course, he has to treat you good and be nice to you, of course, uh, give you compliments, whatever, but don't overdo it because sometimes it can feel forced as well. So someone said jealousy and that is definitely a big turn off. I completely agree. A lot of times jealousy comes from insecurity. So try to, you know, deal with that problem. Try to deal with your insecurity so that you don't have to project any jealousy on other people. And I'm not just talking about jealousy on your partner, you know, you don't want your partner to do certain things because you can get jealous, but also just jealousy on other people, like on their friends and stuff like that. It's a no-go. Just be happy for people and then it will come back to you as well. Karma, you know? So someone said a man who can't understand your emotions because he thinks you're overreacting. I definitely agree with this. I feel like from what I've noticed, um, guys oftentimes think we're overreacting but me personally I'm someone that's very emotional and I have very strong emotions as well so something that might not bother you as much it probably bothers me a lot more so I feel like when someone makes you feel like you're overreacting when really you're just expressing your feelings that's a really shit feeling to give someone the next one is a man who is toxic AF but thinks he's not Definitely, it always be those type of people like they don't even know that they're toxic or maybe they're just in denial, but really they are so toxic. <laughs> it's so like, ugh. like how can you not be so aware of yourself, of your ways, of your behavior, of the things that you say, like <laughs> have some self-respect, have, have some self-awareness, you know. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. Someone said a man who tells me what to do. Nah, bro, not here. I definitely agree. I think you can give me advice. Of course, you're always allowed to give me any advice, but you cannot be telling me what I can and cannot do. Like that's, that's not cute. That's childish. Don't do it. You ain't my business. Don't do that. You ain't my business. Yeah, don't do that.
So someone said a man who only talks about money or only talks about being broke. That is definitely a big turn off. I feel like guys really think that girls are attracted to guys with a lot of money and stuff like that. But speaking for myself, money does not attract me. Like, what is that going to do for me? Okay, you might be able to spoil me, but then what? If the relationship is shit and you're spoiling me with gifts like that I can get myself, what's the point? You know, that's just, it's, it shouldn't be a part of your personality. Money should not be a part of your personality. Let me say it like that. So the last ick is a guy with no ambition. And as I said before, ambition is a big deal to girls. So guys, have ambition, please. Have a plan for your life, have motivation to make something out of your life because a lazy guy with no plans, no future, that ain't it. So those were all the icks and this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed reading all your icks and just reacting to things that you send in. I really enjoy that. So if there's anything else that you want me to react to, leave it down below in the comments. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Lillian's Egg Guys so you can also send in your responses. I'm also on TikTok and Twitter so you can follow me on there as well. My ad is the same on all my socials at Lillian's Egg Guy. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. We're almost done with Vlogmas. I cannot believe it. I'm so excited and I'm so proud of myself that I actually got through this Vlogmas. I never expected this but... We did it! Thank you guys for your support. I wouldn't have gotten through this vlogmas without your support and your kind comments. I remember on the first day or the second day someone placed a really nice comment under my video and that just meant so much to me. I'll put it up here. So shout out to you for just leaving such a nice comment under my post really. It really touched my heart and it really made me motivated to complete this vlogmas. So thank you to everyone who's been supporting me this year. Let's get to 10k subscribers as soon as we can. I'm not sure if it's gonna happen before the end of this year, but you know, we're gonna have faith. So thank you so much again to everyone. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and give this video a big, big, big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!